What's up guys, I'm back with another video. We're gonna go over on how to reboot stacks. The version we're using today is 0.10.7.5601. And with this version, um, they made a slight change with it, but basically the same as before, so there really isn't that much difference between... I don't know, they basically blew off the old design and decided to stick with this one. Not entirely sure why, but probably because it's not even ready yet. But um, this blue stacks version is currently unrooted, untouched, and fresh. It's a fresh install, so we'll not have any modifications on it. I'm right now using the touchscreen version. Um, I don't have anything to confirm that it's not rooted, so we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Um, load up blue stacks easy, which is the software we're gonna be using. It's the BS multi tool. Just so you know, you guys are gonna say, "Oh my God, this is a virus! Don't fucking download it." Okay, I have a very clear explanation for this. It is a virus. Somewhat. So is BS Multi Tool. It's considered labeled as a hack tool because it's exactly what it does. It hacks blue stacks so that it's rooted. But BS Easy is a better tool because it works more more than one. It works more it will more than likely work. So we're gonna auto detect from install installed blue stacks. We're gonna automatically detect it. Put signature, make sure that you're using the default installation location or else you basically it won't find it more than likely. We go to routing, we go to method two because we're gonna use clockwork mod super user. If you don't like that one, you can also use um chain fire super user, but that's up to you. I'm gonna use method two though. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as it's an unsquashed system. Make sure you click that. Proceed with the routing process. Now, if you want to get an updated version of BlueStacks Easy, you're out of luck because the only time you're ever going to get an update for it is if you watch my videos because I'm not the one who uploads them or uploads the files, but it's really hard to find BlueStacks Easy because they don't have an actual website or anything like that to host these files. So you're going to have to just basically watch my video and then I'll update the file as needed. So what it's going to do is going to load C BIOS and then it's basically opening up a new operating system kind of like a kind of like a virtual operating system I would guess. That's what it looks that's what it seems to be. And um, it's run off of Linux and it uses Linux to decompress the files, opening them up or mounting the files, opening it up, editing the files and then recompiling them with this script. It's called Bluestacks Root Easy by created by X Tart X which um, the people who, I don't think that the people who developed the software is uh, English. I don't think it actually rooted successfully. But if you get this problem, and if it doesn't root successfully, it will actually tell you whether or not if it did or not. Oh, it actually did. Wow, that was fast. Um, that was really fast. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, um, um, that was unexpected. Um, we're gonna put the increase the RAM right here so you can go ahead and increase RAM. I put it up to two two gigabytes because I have a sixteen gigabyte. And if you want to increase the file storage, you can, you put it to sparse CEPs, not data FS. If you put it to data or if you put it to dot FS, it's gonna take a very very long time for them to be created. So watch. Okay. All right. It's already done. Create the SD card. Okay, that's already done. So I'm going to close BlueStacks, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to increase the storage capacity. So it's going to be really big. It's going to be 32 gigabytes big because um, we want it to be really big. So we go to Program Data, BlueStacks. If you do not see this location, you might want to reinstall, completely get rid of BlueStacks, and then try again. Um, we're going to need to completely close out of BlueStacks. Wait till that. All right, so it's gone. Try again. All right, we replace the files. I don't think there's anything else that we would want to do. If you want to, you can also remove update no notification. Um, you can change the OM to something else. Um, and many other things that you might want to do. So if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Um, change, change the resolution. Um, well, there you go. That's, um, that's basically who made it. Facebook.com slash group slash basically if you want to find it go ahead and go there if you want but this is this is the original soft this is a, an original software so you wouldn't really need to go there we're using 3.5 you can go ahead and close blue stacks because we no longer need it because we're all done 
Go to blue stacks, load it up again, and then we're gonna check to make sure that this is rooted because if it's rooted, then well, we're done. Um, I have an another YouTube channel called Shoutay Amazing. If you want to go ahead and check it out, um, go on my main channel, and then you can check it out. And basically, I make gameplays randomly. Let's give it a couple seconds. Still initializing because I changed the uh, I changed the system files. So it's creating it. I can go ahead and delete these. I don't really need them. Delete. Just give it a minute. Shouldn't take long. You'll be able to get these files in the description bar, so. Man, it's taking forever to load. We'll pause it real quick. Alright, so it's not working. Just <clears throat> for some reason it closed. Oh great, now we gotta load it up again. Uh, for some reason, uh, my BlueStacks version has been very it's been like crashing, or the front end has been crashing. So we're gonna do go here. We're gonna confirm that it's rooted. Check now. And there we go. So good, babe. So good, babe. So good, so good, so good. It hurts. So good, babe. So good, babe. You got me, you got me good.